Hello everyone! In this video I will show you how you can create a minimap for your 2D Unity game. First I add a big map sprite to my scene and then create a new sprite game object which will be our player. I reset its transform values, then I add an up sprite to it, change its color to red and make it a little bit bigger. Our player gonna need rigid body to decomponent for movement. I add one and set gravity scale to zero so it will not fall down. Finally, I add a player move script to it, which provides simple movement by pressing arrow keys. OK. Main camera follows the player in this game and the simplest way to do it is to make it to be a child of the player. Here we go. Next, I create new camera and call it mini camera. And this mini camera has to be a child of the main camera. OK. And I reset mini camera transform. Mini camera should be rendered above the main camera. So I change mini camera's depth to 1, whereas main camera depth is 0. Next, let's add a frame for our minimap. Frame should be a child of the mini camera. Rotate it in Z axis to be horizontal. OK. This frame should be rendered only by mini camera. To make this happen, I need to put this frame to the separate layer. I have frame layer already created, so I just put my frame to it. After that, I need to change calling mask of the main camera. It must render everything except frame layer. Just like this. Next, I change projection of the main camera to orthographic and change the size of it from 5 to 1.3. You may notice that there is nothing in our game view. This is because there is nothing in front of our cameras. To fix this, let's switch to 3D view and move main camera in Z direction so map and player go in front of it. Now in game view, we can only see what mini camera is rendering. Let's change mini camera viewport rectangle, x will be 0.7 and y will be minus 0.7. Now mini camera's picture is placed in the right bottom corner of the game view. Now it appeared that there is no player in the game view. It's because it's rendered behind the map. To fix this, I change player's order in layer from 0 to 1, whereas maps is 0. Next I move a frame in Z axis the way to be in front of the mini camera. So mini camera can see it. Now it's time to make this frame to be a real frame for mini camera's picture. I scale it and move it, so it covers mini camera's picture. Just like that. Since only one audio listener is allowed in the scene and each camera goes with its own one, so we need to remove or disable one of it. I do it with mini camera's audio listener. OK, time to hit play and see how it works. Thank you for watching, see you next time.